Hey there everybody, Don Evans here from WatchReport.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Glycine Combat Sub Automatic. Now I know many of you might be thinking, uh, you know, this isn't a new model from Glycine. And that's true. The uh, green bezel version that I have here is a newer version uh, from their Combat Sub lineup. But the real reason that I wanted to do this review and had Glycine send me this model is I think sometimes this model gets overlooked. Uh, many people are familiar with the Airman line of the Gly of Glycine products. Um, but I don't think they realize the great value that there is uh, for this dress diver, which is kind of what I call it. Um, maybe not in this uh, variation, but definitely some of them. Uh, there's many different colors and styles of the Glycine Combat Sub. Bracelet versions, two-tone versions, uh, different color dials, different color bezels, uh, leather strap, brace, uh, rubber straps. So uh, there's kind of uh, there's kind of a version of this model out there for everybody. The list price on this varies depending on looking online or uh, through a AD, but there are online authorized dealers, and I've seen the price kind of go from, say, between six eighty five to say seven ninety five for this particular model. And what you have is a forty two millimeter case, a lug to lug of just about fifty millimeters, thickness only ten millimeters, Swiss made, and an ETA twenty eight twenty four automatic movement. You can see here while it's on my wrist, it has drilled lug holes. I'm going to take it off my wrist. For reference purposes, I have a seven and a half inch wrist. So that's what you just saw there. Now, this has a sapphire crystal as well. The green aluminum bezel insert. 22 millimeter lugs. This version comes under distressed brown leather strap. Very nice, very high quality leather strap. There's a look at the case back. You have a couple of different finishes here on the watch. The sides are high polished. The top of the case is brushed. The case back is high polished and then you got the frosted area here in the middle where it is engraved. Your coin edge bezel. Rotating here, so you can check that out. Dial, of course, is black, and the hands, as you can see, are a take on the Mercedes hands, but don't have the little uh, peace sign symbol in the middle of it, if you will. You got your loomed rectangle second hand. And all the mar uh, numbers here and markers are coated in superluminova paint. Now, like I said, one of the reasons that I wanted to do this review is I, I just think sometimes that this particular watch from Glycine can get overlooked. You know, many of the micro brand divers these days are in the 685 or 700 and 750 dollar range. Yes, I know what people are saying. Oh, but Don, you can get micro brand divers for three and four hundred dollars. Yes, that's true. But there are other micro brands out there that are in the 700 dollar and 800 dollar and 900 dollar price range these days. Some of them we have reviewed here on WatchReport.com, and they're very nice watches. But Glycine has been around uh, for quite a long time, has uh, brand history and heritage, and that is important to some people. Also, the fact that it is Swiss made and still using a Swiss ETA 2824 automatic is very important to some people. So I wanted to be able to show this version off on a video here and a full review on WatchReport.com to give our readers a look at it. Now, like I said, I know that the green bezel and brown leather strap version might not be for everybody, but if you go to the Glycine website and take a look, you will see all the variations that they currently offer of this model. And there are so many to choose from that I think if you like the thin case, you like the look and style, that you will definitely find a version uh, 
that will be to your tastes. For the price these days, uh, for the movement and what you're getting, I think it's actually a pretty great value. You're, you know, still going to be well under a thousand dollars to get into this model. Let me unscrew the crown here. Crown back down. Two hundred meters water resistant. Screw down crown. Um, you know works pretty easily. Don't really feel any ratcheting or grinding in there. So this has been a look at the glycine combat sub automatic. Go to the link in the description below. You'll see the full updated review with my thoughts and comments, loom shots, much more pictures, and uh, everything else. Leave a like or a comment here on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you are not. You will never miss another video review. Check us out on social media. We're on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And a lot of times, um, you know, not only will you be alerted to our contests that are running, um, but we often do sneak peeks of upcoming reviews that we have and uh, other info that we like to update our viewers on. So check us out if you're a fan of social media. This has been Don Evans for WatchReport.com, giving you a look at the Glycine Automatic Combat Sub. And we will see you on the next video. Thank you very much.